We do have a, a new uh, cameraman today, so if the footage is a bit wobbly, you can blame us. No, I'm joking. It's DJ Liv, everyone. If you if you don't know who DJ Liv is, I'm going to put uh, her details in the description. This is my 11-year-old daughter who can DJ and DJ very well, but we need to see on the decks more, Liv. So more of that to come. Right, should we have a look around this car? Yeah. Hello and welcome to another Abbott Automotive YouTube video. Firstly, apologies on how long this video has taken to do. I know I've got this car a month ago, you saw the collection video, but I wanted to make this video today to show you why I bought the Lotus, why we decided with this model of car, and uh, a look round it. So uh, let's get into it. Cut a long story short, I actually didn't, didn't go out to buy this car. Um, I went to Donington one Saturday with Olivia, who's filming, and I saw loads of these Exegers and Elisas ripping around the track around Donington, and I thought, Do you know what? They look like a lot of fun. So, that day, I googled the, lo the nearest Lotus dealership, and Nottingham was the closest one, Central Lotus in Nottingham, and I thought, Do you know what? Let's go and have a go in one. So Connor there gave me the keys to this, and gave me the keys to an Elise, and as soon as I drove this, I was sold. And so this is the Lotus Exige 350 Roadster. Um, this is the last Exige Lotus made. So um, this is a 2014, so 2014 model. So what, what can I tell you about it? Well, firstly, the looks. Everywhere you go, I'm talking everywhere you go, in petrol stations, down the road, to the shops, people stand and take pictures of it. it. It just looks amazing. And I know you're probably saying, well, you said that about your BMW F80. Yeah, that car did look amazing, but I bought this car because this is a proper weekend car. I didn't buy it to use it every day. This sits in my garage and that's what I wanted. That's what the M3 F80 was missing. It was, it was missing something. It almost did too much, that car. It was stunning and it went like stink, but this is, this is just a weekend car. And that's exactly what it does. So, so what have we got? Let's go around it. So the car is, well, it weighs 1,100 kilo. It's all made out of fiberglass. So this is like a complete front. They call it a clam. So this is a front clam. It's all fiberglass. The back is completely fiberglass. Obviously, you can see the engine there. We'll go through. We'll go through and look at the engine in a minute. But it's literally, it, it's, it weighs 1,100 kilo. That's all this car weighs. It's 1,100 kilo. So. Weight wise, power to weight on this car is just unbelievable. Um, in terms of what it's running, so it's running 350 horsepower, uh, which is powered by the 3.5 V6 supercharged. It's a Toyota engine, and as you guys, well, some of you guys know, I used to work for Toyota, I did eight years at Toyota, and I know these cars, well, I know Toyota engines are solid, so I was that was a big selling point for me. Um, let's have a look around some of the features on it so wheels wise it's running 17s on the front 18s on the back with Michelin Cup 2s I've had uh, a couple of people say that these are good tyres but you have to get them up to temperature not really tried them properly yet now when I bought the car um, it didn't have the wing on as you all know we love a wing uh, so this is the um, cup wing I think it's three no the 430 cup wing so they had that in stock at Lotus, so um, Connor sorted me out a deal on that. And it also didn't come with a front splitter. So I had that front splitter done as well. Um, just to almost finish it off. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at let's, let's take a look at the engine first and see what it's got under the uh, under the bonnet. You right, Duck? You right, Ducky? Yeah, fine. <laughs> so engine-wise, it is a, like I said, a 3.5 V6 supercharger which sits literally right behind your head. Now, one thing that I was slightly disappointed about, but I am getting it sorted, is you can't really hear the supercharger. I test drove the Elise, uh, which had a supercharger, and you could really hear that whine behind your head, but this, you can't hear it at all. I don't know if you can see here, this is the airbox, and it literally goes all the way down there. It's massive, and I've seen one stripped out, and the airbox is huge. So that's restricting all the noise from there. So I have uh, got at home, which I'm going to have fitted after I've uh, been to the Nürburgring, which I'll tell you about a bit later on. Um, that opens up the supercharged wine. It's an Elias induction kit. Um, so that's going to go on after I've done the done the ring trip. Um, 
just just I'm just going to get my kind of use out of it is what it is at the minute um, and, and until the novelty wears off I'll then probably fit the uh, induction kit boot wise uh, yeah you haven't got much what of one really um, that's got a jacket in a jumper I've just bought from Lotus and a nice little uh, brochure Connor's given me and a drone and then you actually can get your hand all the way down there you feel you can feel the fiberglass but that pretty much is your boot apparently you can get a set of golf clubs in there I'm not a golfer I'm not gonna try um, but it's it's not a bad boot for a little sports car I don't think it's a bad boot at all this is all exposed glass um, but you can get um, like a like a slat uh, cover on these which look quite cool but I quite like seeing the engine I think it looks quite cool on there so I'm gonna keep that as it is at the minute the roofs on at the moment but in a minute Liv's gonna film me taking it off I'll show you how to take it off and um, we'll uh, show you the interior and some bits and bobs interior but I think the exterior is just it's just I think it looks amazing it really does it's such a striking car when you drop when you when it's going down the road um, they're just they're just brilliant um, I'm telling you now I mean I've never driven a Lotus but my first drive in it I was sold I was literally sold I thought do you know what this car does everything and there's a few little things in it that I just love about it which reminds me of like my older cars which I'll go into on the um, on the interior the Roadster obviously is soft top they are all soft top but the 350s uh, not the 350s the 380s and the 430s if I'm saying the wrong numbers just let me know I'm, lo I'm, I'm a newbie in the Lotus world so I'm probably saying the wrong stuff but the Roadster comes with the soft top only it doesn't come with a hard top but you can buy a hard top and they come off just as easy the soft top there's no buttons to get the roof off there's literally two catches underneath here which you like push in and the roof just literally rolls off so you roll it and there's a bar just take out <laughs> that's how you get the roof off so that's basically the roof and it comes with like a bag that you put it in but it literally fits well, it's made to fit in your in your boot basically so when you've got the roof off that pretty much take take that pretty much takes up all your boot it just sits in there out of the way so it's just dead simple stuff which you'll see from the interior now we'll go over the interior you'll see it's just literally bobby basic there's nothing nothing in here at all okay interior um i think the biggest selling point for me were these bucket seats so these are i, I suppose the lotus is kind of own brand of bucket seat but they're cross stitch leather uh with the harnesses so it's got the it's got the race pack on this so it comes with the harness bar and the harnesses and the race modes on there with the race exhaust all you pretty much have is your steering wheel gear stick handbrake pedals and a stereo that is literally it let's go inside you've literally and then your dials are just old school dials like you get on a kind of old school sports car it's got a little pioneer head unit which has got this built-in phone holder which is pretty good so it plays through the bluetooth i think this car has had an um upgrade of alpine speakers so it's got two alpine speakers on the dash there and then it's got two i don't know if you can see them it's got two behind the seat as well um, but it's that is it you've got your heaters heaters here this particular model has got heated seats connor was saying at lotus that it's very rare for them to have that as optional so this particular one has got heated heated seats in it which not a lot of them have got we've also uh, got down here your um, heated rear windscreen your hazard button and that's about it you've got your little race settings here so you've got tour sport and then you press and hold that on and that puts that into race mode and then you've just got your your lights here, your um, light switches here that is it what I loved about this I used to have an old Vauxhall Corsa Corsa B and these are like the stalks off the old Corsa uh, old Vauxhall kind of uh, indicator stalks, Vauxhall window switches. Um, it is <laughs> that is pretty much it interior wise. There's nothing more to it. Um, literally, you've got a couple of mats in there. You've got quite a bit, a bit of leg room. But if you're tall and wide, this ain't the car for you. But it's built for me because obviously I'm short and skinny. <laughs> but it's honestly that is pretty much it interior wise it has got an airbag that's pretty much it obviously if you do roll it this should stop you from getting crushed but yeah it's i think that's probably the bit that that's mainly negative is it a safe car well i'm guessing they wouldn't put them on the road if they wasn't safe 
Um, you can even hear the door when you shut the doors. Listen to that. <laughs> it's, it's so tinny, listen. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's just built for track. It's built for driving fast. It's not built for lux luxury. It's not built for long trips, even though you could do a long trip. These seats are pretty comfy. They're not, um, they're not uncomfortable. You obviously got your stereo in there when you chuck the roof off it's just it's, it's great it's, it's literally what more do you want it's a driver's car and because you're literally sat on the road i mean look how low it is to the to the ground here you're literally on the road there's the there's the floor you're on the floor so you literally feel everything you feel everything that the car does you feel if it steps out you feel if it kind of twitches you literally every every little movement on the car you can feel um but yeah in terms of first impressions i'm absolutely loving it it's it and i always say this and i know you're gonna say yeah all right mark it is probably the well it is the best car i've ever owned in terms of drivability how the thing sounds how it handles how it looks i just think for 40 grand because that's what i paid for it what what other car are you getting in um gtrs probably a v8 r8 but this would this would this would leave a V8 R8 standing. In fact, you'd probably give the V10 a good go. They're rapid. This is 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. It is like a rocket. I did buy an exhaust. Um, I can't remember what make it was now, but I did buy a race exhaust. But I didn't know that this, this already come with the, the race exhaust on it. Uh, I don't know if that's, if, it, if that's an optional extra or they come with them anyway. But it does sound well. Let's give it, let's give it a start, see what it sounds like. When you start the car, it auto blips it as well, which is quite nice. It gives you like a little, a little rev from the beginning. Little pop. drive-bys just to show you what it sounds like on the road and then probably in the next video we'll get out and about do some nice drone footage do some cinematic stuff in the Peak District probably do a POV drive as well but we'll save all that to the next video but we'll give you a little taste now of what the thing sounds like and how it goes anyway <laughs> So driving wise it's literally so nice to drive. Gears are dead close, they're kind of you know the clutch is stiff but it's it's engaging, it's quite easy to drive. I mean literally there's no give at all. The suspension, you're just on you're literally on the road. Uh, but it's so so nice and so planted. But uh, in the next video we'll probably do it, we'll say we'll do a we'll do a POV drive so you can see exactly what I hear, what I see how responsive the thing is it's honestly it, I'm, I'm trying to sell you the car but until you drive one of these you don't realize how good they are they literally it's like you're driving a go-kart on the road that's how it feels it's, it's unbelievable but these back roads this is what it's built for it's like and the splitter's not too low on the front so you're not kind of you're not worried about digging it in all the time like on the m3s it's really close to the road where this is you can get over speed humps in it, you can get in and out car parks okay. Um, it's, it's literally, this is what it's designed to do. Honestly, and these things, they're not going to
going to go down in price. They don't make them anymore. I went to North Trader this morning and there's only 30 other Exegas for sale in the whole of the UK. So tell me, you know, tell me something this guy's on the other road. Tell me something that's gonna go up in value over the next year. This is this is the car. This will go up in value. This will go up in value in the next year because they don't make them anymore. They don't make cars like this anymore. Everything's going electric. So these types of cars, people have got to keep hold of them, keep, keep the mileage down of them, and you'll probably hold your money on this sort of car. Connor said to me, if you bring it back in a year's time, more than likely I can give you money straight back, or even a bit more. They're, they're, they're a good investment, and they're just absolutely amazing. Hang on the game, we are not playing the same. No, we not looking to change. Hand on the way, they think we lacking the drive. Boy, you should stay in your lane. Foot on the gas, I do not care if I crash. Long as I stick to the plan. What is the plan? I cannot lie for none of you. Long as I know who I am, I'm in control.